Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Quetotic Pry Rope and I'm going to double stamp. I started off with Neltex Formula 2 and Quetotic Pry Rope. They got to name these things to wear their tongue twisters. I lost the footage of the, well actually I didn't lose it, it was just awful. And so I'm going to start this one with the second coat. This is not becoming a thing on my channel, I promise. But um, I had issues that day I was filming. Look how pretty that is. It's like raspberry yum with blue flakies. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get it to dry down so I can do some stamping. Actually, some double stamping. I'm kind of getting into the double stamping. I just think it adds more dimension and sometimes it's just, you know, it's just so much fun. <laughs> I'm being sure to cap that free edge there. I love this. And here we go. I'll be using Beauty Big Bang XL031, my monocle stamper, and my clear jelly scraper. I'll be using this clean color, and this one is Metallic Aqua, as well as a no-name white stamping polish. I have no idea where that came from. So I'm going to be using this present for my accent nails. And that Metallic Aqua is not a stamping polish, but it does stamp really well. So here we go. We're going to do that on my ring finger. Kind of mushing it in, making sure it's all sticking. I am cleaning my stamper off on a lint roller. You could use tape. I do not recommend using acetone on clear stampers. It will ruin them. Cleaning that plate off with pure acetone also. And now I'm going to stamp over the white with this gorgeous aqua. I just am loving this combo. Got to get lined up and smush it down and tap it. There we go. And then I'm going to use this star garland or star swishies or whatever you want to call them on all my other nails. <clears throat> I did do that present looking one on my ring finger and my thumb. Because that's how I do it when I do that sometimes. I mix it up. I don't always do it the same way. And just like before, I have stamped in white. And now I'm going to go over with the metallic aqua over top of the white stamping. And I just really loved how this one looked. It's very, it's like a patriotic Christmas, you know. And um, I think we need to be patriotic all the time. So it works for me. I am going to go in with a piece of tape and get up this excess off of my fingers. Look how good that's coming up. <laughs> I wish I knew who made that white stamping polish because it's, it's really good, real opaque. I just don't have any idea. It could be like a pin pan stamping polish that I got off of AliExpress, but I have no idea because the bottle is not marked. Now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and do some tidying up here. This cleaned up really well. Um, you know, I always get nervous when I use white and even metallics uh, because, you know, the white just smears around and looks like a dirty chalkboard and then the metallics like to stick to my skin. But today this one cleaned up really, really well. No smearing, no glittery fingertips. Everything's just really, really nice and tidy. Not that it matters because it comes off of soap and water, but you know. I'll be using the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat to seal this in, and then I'll do a regular top coat, a regular fast dry one. I'll be using Posh today. It is my preferred well, it's my preferred in my price range, let's put it that way. And I am going to seal this one in with this glossy, beautiful top coat and call it to did. I really do like how this one turned out. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I would love to hear your thoughts on this manicure. Leave me a comment down below. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So there we go. That is it. I have a swatch photo right here. And like I said, leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.
talk to you soon.